<sighs> All right, we've got this. Let's see. Uh, now that another Celtus has actually showed up, unfortunately, that means we're going to have to take that guy out. But first things first, I'm about to get attacked. So let's see if we can actually go ahead. No, my Ratha was about to get attacked. That's what was happening. But double attack on the queen and yes. All right, we're doing at least a little bit more damage now, but we are gonna have to take out that new Celtus. Dang it. Man, this is a much stronger monster than I was expect or monster, I should say, than I was expecting. But hello everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, where we are currently doing our best to fight the new Celtus Queen over here at the pit. And we probably should take her out or take uh, I should probably go ahead and take this Celtus out before it gets involved in bonding with the queen and creating a super strong monster. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take both of them out. All right, come on, Ratha. Oh, Venom Strike was really a great move against him. Venom Strike just unfortunately is not a great move when it comes to trying to fight the Celtus Queen herself because she is full of all sorts of nasty venom. All right, let's try another technical attack on the stomach of the Celtus to get him out of here. Good job, Ratha. There we go. Okay. So hopefully okay she's getting really 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 mad now oh no they've bonded again dang it all right let's try to go we've got to break this bond because once they unite with one another then that creates all sorts of trouble for us so we need to knock the celtus down oh man and they're really come on ratha corrosive acid again we might need some help. Ratha, maybe this is the part where we need to admit having help from some of our other monsters is not a bad thing. Because Venom Strike, oh, inflicted with poison. Good job, Ratha. All right, we're going to actually do a swap. Oh, because that power attack is coming in so strong. Oh, that's me. No, those are my hearts. Jeez. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to like manage this somehow. So we're actually going to swap monsters. Let's pull Jane in. Cause she is all about power and she, well actually, if we're gonna do monsters and they're actually, I can't swap again, dang it. All right, so we're gonna do some speed attacks. I'm gonna go after that Celtus. And then if I get hit again, we might lose this. So we've gotta be really careful. I only have so many, so many potions to heal up. Yes! Frostfang, good job! Ice Cyclone! All right, come on, take out that Celtus. Jane, hang in there! Nice, Jane pushed through with a power attack. Okay, good. Um, all right, she really can't get knocked out though. All right, can we take out the Celtus? Meanwhile, Avina is trying to keep everybody alive. Yes! Okay, I think we managed to get that Celtus off. Burning Blast on the Queen, which seemed to do something. She's really, really mad now, but I think we've got this. All right, good job, Jane. Uh, okay, so she's furious, probably going to use power attacks. I could go after the body. If we break the head, maybe that's a good thing. Dang it, she's using a speed attack. Come on, come on. Oh, she's so close to having... <gasps> Wait, what? Yes! <gasps> Two Neperton with one stone. Man, we rocked so hard. Okay, I really thought that that would take so much longer. Thank you for your help. Frostwing and I couldn't possibly have stopped those monsters on our own. Good job! All right, I think Rafa getting a little extra help from Jane is totally on point. Kobe and Nursella leveled up from that as well. Toby knows Thunderball now! Can you imagine how much fun it would be for him to play with a little ball of thunder? That's adorable. And Nursella has now learned from the queen herself and knows vengeful attack. Deals light non-elemental damage to one enemy. Attack power is boosted when HP is low. And we did fairly decent on that. We got Aqua Sac, Celtus Wings and Shells, the Celtus Queen Shell. Bigger, thicker, and stronger than the males. Oof, we might have to do a lot of interesting research on them in order to go ahead and learn whatever it takes to fight them. <laughs> oh! Your kinship stone powered up again! Just like when we fought the Anginath and Rathian! 
Man, if that's the case, you think people would be fighting me to have a chance to fight them because you could become stronger. Oh, I look so cute. It's gotta be the light that made them act all weird. Which means the guild's theory was correct. This light makes monsters more violent. But something doesn't add up. When monsters are hit by the rage rays, they lose control. That means it should be dangerous for our monsties too. I wonder why the light doesn't affect them. That's a really good point. I like the fact that Athena hasn't forgotten that the monsties are also monsters and that they could probably eat us if they decided to just, you know, have a change of heart suddenly. Athena, she's so become so cool to me, you guys. Stuff. But I'd say we're making progress. Let's head back to the chief. I mean, think about Avina. She stood by her Frostfang when she just knew he wasn't going to be dangerous and he wasn't going to hurt anyone. Their bond was special. She came back to her village even after they chased her away and continued to help them. She accepted their apologies. She lives there happily. She's very smart and she tries really hard to make sure everyone is taken care of. Yes. Let's without go. flinching away from what's difficult to do. Avina. Top tier. Top tier behavior. Meanwhile, there's that kid. Let's head to the village. Kyle, huh? Wait, what are you Can gonna do in my village? Back up from the other hunters. Your reasoning? <sighs> I just have a bad feeling. Okay then, let's reach out to them. Oh, I thought you'd object. It's just as you said. We shouldn't wait until it's too late. Besides, I hear your instincts are spot on. Oh dear. It's it's worse when the opposing party isn't full of ego and actually might be somewhat intelligent. Uh-oh. I see. Well then. But I'm a bit disappointed. Huh? Oh, it's neither here nor there. Wait, what? Oh, I'm a friend of Avina. That's fantastic, you guys. We need to head back and we need to report to the chief. All right, we're going to go ahead and we are going to take the catavan because I feel like all of the cats who live in the tiny little cave, literally right next to the pit, would be so grateful we took care of that terrifying situation before it was the end of them that they'd be very happy to give us a ride home. Let's do a little bit of praying. Um, let's do lucky prayer. Because every time I see the shrine, I feel like we definitely need to go ahead and do a bit of praying. So we can level up the, the prayer shrine. And then before we go talk to the chief, let's check in on our eggs. We got our one our egg. The super duper duper super shiny egg with an amazing smell. I don't know if we've ever had an egg this fancy. So I want to just check on it. Hello! Whoa, that's three things, you guys! It is the shiniest Zamtros we've ever had! Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy seems like he's gonna be really cool. All right, so anti-venom, insomniac, ice spear, and cold resistance negates, negates his frostbite. Welcome, little one. We'll have to talk about you later. But there we go! Okay, I was just curious if that guy hatched well. And then let's go talk to the chief so we can let him know like, okay, the pit, kind of dangerous. We fixed it though. You don't need to worry. And also I'm kind of concerned that Kyle's about to be like on his way, whoever Kyle is. He literally chased us out of our home. I legitimately forgot that we had somebody else other than Avina here with us. I feel very bad about that. I'm sorry, Ina. Good. You're okay? I was worried about you when I heard about the Rage Raid monster. I'm glad to see you're all right, Siri. I can only imagine... I found out where old Didi was last seen. But first, please go tell the chief about the pit. We can catch up later. I can only imagine that she learned about that from the Feylines, because I imagine the Feylines are like everywhere and they have a Feyline network of information that just spreads through all the villages much quicker than the humans could do anything with. My friends, you're back. Mm-hmm. And okay? live. Yes, we are. We ran into a Celtus and Celtus Queen by the pit. Both Rage Raid. What a name, Rage Raid. As we suspected, the monster started raging because of the light from the pit. It appears so. I bet that's what made Guardian Ratha lose control. I've been desperately trying to understand what was happening to him. I shudder to think what would have happened if those Rage Raid monsters made it to the village. Thanks to you, 
we avoided the worst case scenario. On behalf of all of Kuan. Oh. Told you we'd protect the village, right, buddy? That's really I cute. I learned something as well. Apparently, a feline spotted old Day Day on snow-clad Mount Lavina. Oh, some more now snow. We're talking. Let's get a move on. Yes. When you're ready, let's go. Whoa, what? Just like that? I thought that, like, old Day Day's words of wisdom. Is the power slumbering in Rotha truly so ruinous? If it is, then what needs to be done about it? With a clouded head, you return to the last known location of old Day Day. But the rays of hope in your mind are shadowed by a sneaking sense of dread. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I thought we had already gone, like, everywhere you could go here. <laughs> like, is there really more to, to Loloska's mountain range? How? Loloska wintry away. I mean, okay. Let's go ahead and head out, I suppose. I, I can't believe we just defeated some rage raid monsters at the pit. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. Yep, yep, yep. We're, we're good. We did that. Ah, all good now. We can go ahead and bask in the, in the wonders of our fantastic abilities. And instead they're like, all right, that's nice. Get back out there. You've got further to go. All right, well, here we go. Ratha, are you gonna go ahead and lead us this time? I feel like Ratha is a little bit of like a, a teensy baby. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and let... Nursilla probably learned a lot from that. Kobe's doing well. I'm gonna let Jane lead the way again, to be honest, guys, because I feel like if we're still doing with the cold, I feel like Jane's super warm to just be with because of her special abilities to breathe fire. So we're gonna stay with her and see where... Ooh, where her adventures take us and it might be into this rare den. Okay, we might have to go ahead and dive in here. Cause come on, I like to imagine for the sake of my role play uh, and my immersive experience of this adventure and we'll swap over to Terry just so we don't disturb all of the monsties that might be hiding in here unless we want to. But I like to imagine when we go through these rare dens on our way to a place, it's because you have to go through the den or through a certain monster's territory. Uh, what is going on down there, huh? Oh, I see. In order to make it further up the mountain, because it really expands how big the world feels when you give yourself that challenge of having to go through like a certain number of dens. Ooh, there's another Jade Baroth. And that challenge of like having to confront certain types of monsters. It makes it a lot more fun in my opinion. All right, this Jade Baroth is like guarding something pretty special, I think. Okay, we're gonna change to Nursilla and climb. She's so fast. She's so cool. I really kind of want to see what her special ability might be. We got some antidotes. Might be useful. And some chill shrooms. And so then the question becomes, should we try to catch that Jade Baroth? Because if we can get it to retreat, and if we can get more of its Jade shells, I could make something nice out of it. And since we're with Nursilla, I kind of feel like Nursilla, being one completely covered in shiny gemstones, likes collecting shiny things. So I think for the sake of, you know, making our own story out of what we're after, we are going to go ahead and we're totally going to take on this Baroth. And we're gonna do it with Nursilla because she really wants to snag she really wants to go ahead and snag the shiny, shiny plates and maybe add it to her web so that she can decorate that that Jade Baroth has. All right, let's grab this and take care of the conchus just to get them out of here real quick. All right, little smush, smush these little beans real quick. Whoa, I shattered that one to pieces, what? Oh my gosh, and then the other conchus are down. That leaves just the Jade Baroth going, what just happened? All right, I'm pretty sure this guy is going to use, uh-oh. Pretty sure I need to switch weapons now. Oh, and maybe we have enough pieces. I could have been upgrading my weapons. What am I doing? All right. Good speed attack. There we go. 
So let's see what we're made of. Unfortunately, we cannot just like auto defeat the monster. Uh, ooh, sleep needle. Ooh, I can't wait to see what she tries to do. This is gonna be really fun. Another double attack with Frostfang because we have gotten along so well for so long. But I can't wait to see what Nursilla tries to do. Because as she's already building up really good attacks, <gasps> maybe we'll be able to use her. Maybe we'll be able to use her um, ride on attack in just a second here. All right, now, unfortunately, slicing at it is not going to be helping us. We're almost to the point where we can do ride on. Uh, and I'm probably gonna need to do piercing, maybe blow. Let's try piercing. Hopefully this is gonna help me. Uh, and I think it's gonna try a tactical attack, maybe? Let's do head. Yes! Oh, Frostfang and I are just completely in alignment with this sleep needle, eh? Oh, that's a really strong attack, even if it didn't inflict sleep. <gasps> and we can do ride on too? Okay, I think we're about to do like a paired up ride on, unfortunately. However, that's really cool. I like working with Nursilla and getting over my fear of like crab spiders. And we're working together. And I love the idea that Nursilla is like, it's because it's got shiny stuff. And I want the shiny shells and the bits and pieces. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez, between the two of them, I don't get how this guy is still like up. Oh, he's down. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. This may be our chance. Uh, okay, I don't want to like totally swish him to pieces. Let's do the, because I do want to try to get him to retreat. Uh, but let's get a little bit weaker. Dang it, I should have been using slice, I think. Yeah, I don't blame the Baroth for kind of getting completely bowled over by everything we were doing. All right, all right. I need to throw a, definitely need to go ahead and throw. Ooh, oh, there's someone go. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her gemstones. I never thought I would love a gemstone crab spider so much. All right, Angie Monsty, Angie Monsty. That's fine. Maybe Angie Monsty will be so angie that it will reveal where your nest is. Give me your babies. All right, Nursil is going in with technical attacks. Ice Cyclone. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh, Assault Roar. Gosh, it looks so cool. All right, and then I'll come in. We need to go back to my slicing and dicing. I completely forgot about upgrading weapons, but that is totally something we're gonna be working on. Speed attacks. I was not expecting speed attacks. Come on, Nursilla. Oh, we're so close, you guys. All right, technical attack to win the head-to-head. -head. Yes. Okay, come on. Yes. All right, we've got another egg. <laughs> You're kidding me. Yes. All right, I'm very excited about this. Look at Nursilla. Okay, Nursilla is like one of my favorites. What on earth? I cannot wait to see what she can do. We got Kanchu. Look at that Jade Baroth shells. Ah, and the, the scalp, the scalp of a Jade Baroth, like a crown of ice, incredibly tough to remove and even more challenging to work with. Boom. We're going to be able to make some cool gear with that. I'm very excited. And I love how Nursilla's special quirk is that she actually very much happens to enjoy all the shiny things that the other monsters have and want to claim them as her own. So I imagine when she's with us, she would want to 100% raid all of the little treasures that monsters tend to end up having accumulate inside of their den like so. Yes, thank you very much, every single piece. And then I could see how she wouldn't mind being a bit of an, is she an egg stealer? Like, wait, what is her ability? I don't even know what her ability is, but very nice. 
I'm gonna take this shiny one. And we've got another shiny Jade Baroth. And maybe we can give its special genes to Jade. So perfect. We're out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome. And we've still got more of this den to actually explore. And then we have to find our way up to the snow-clad Mount Lavina to search for old Dede. This is going to be awesome. If you guys could do please leave a like for Nursilla, who turns out to be completely amazing. I love her. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures. In fact, before we do that, there's no monsters in here. So before we say goodbye, let's let Nursilla share this last egg with us. And then I might just have to pop back to the village really quickly to try making some armor out of it to wear because I think that she'd be very happy. There we go, about me wearing all of the shiny new things she found for us. All right, let's go ahead and try again. We've got a shiny. Oh, another one of these. Man, we are really being told to go after Xamtros. <laughs> like this is like the third or fourth rare Xamtros egg we have found in a row. So I guess we're supposed to make the ultimate bitey baby shark. <gasps> baby shark, oh no, now it's stuck in my head and I want a bitey baby shark Xamtros. <laughs> All right, whoa. Okay, as I flee for my life, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like for Nursilla and how cool she is. Phew, oh geez. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures as I summon a catavan to literally save my life, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and creative, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye